the Valley of Lost Names. Think of a time our own names conjure nothing but a body of unbroken water. Moon over Quabbin, body of bottled light poured across the body of the water, something far at the surface, finned or feathered, rolling in distress. At dawn, the sudden trumpeting eagle strikes. The drowned towns, foursquare, hemmed in stave and stanza, swallowed walls on walls of song, each stone a tongue, where the salmon canter over the meadow baffled dam and small-mouthed bass hosanna. Too deeply now for any to remember, so why does it seem important to remember? when we will ourselves, these fluent selves, like water, subsumed in greater water, be impossible to remember, to distinguish the veins in the hand that worked the lathe, wove the straw, rippled at morning into a gesture of love or praise, or clipped the dewy lilac from its stem, or turned the field stone into the sunken wall of a cellar hole, the jam jars lined within, the vagrant bittersweet unwinds among, when the shore recedes in the twinkling of an eye, the tombs stick out like knees. Deep in a time that is no longer time, but the greater dissolutions of the water, within whose workings ever unspool our names, as it were, as it will be, upon a ghostly bobbin.